All right, guys, so in the last video, we talked about quick collections as well as how to create regular collections. Let's talk about smart collections. Now, if you look over in this collection panel right here, you see that Lightroom actually comes with several smart collections already defaulted in the catalog. And these are already created for you. Anytime you create a new catalog, it'll show these default smart collections. And basically what a smart collection is, is it's a collection that is based upon uh, camera or Lightroom attributes. So that collection will constantly change as these attributes are met or not met. So like for this first smart collection, you see that it's colored red. So that means anytime an image is going to be colored red, it's going to appear in the smart collection. And anytime I unmark an image red, it'll be removed. So let me show you guys. We're going to select the first five images in our catalog, and I'm going to hit six to mark them red and automatically we see in our collection that we have five colored red images. Now I'm going to select the next five images and color these. Uh, I'm going to actually select these and make them five stars because that's our next criteria. So we're going to select those and make them five stars and automatically it gets populated into the five star smart collection. Uh, now past month is going to show whatever was shot last month. Recently modified is going to show whatever has been recently changed or recently brought into Lightroom because we recently brought all these photos into Lightroom and that's what it's showing. We don't have any video files, so it shows zero, and we don't have any without keywords. Or everything is without keywords, so it shows all 45. So now, like we mentioned, it dynamically changes. So what if I were to go and remove, say, one of these? Well, automatically colored red now becomes four. And if I were to click this one and click six again to remove that label, then it automatically becomes three. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing with these two to remove all the labels, and I'm going to do the same thing with our stars and set it back to zero. And we see that our smart collections are automatically updated. So how do we create a smart collection? Well, it's pretty simple. You're just going to click the plus, and then you're going to say create smart collection. And you're going to come up with a name. So let's say we wanted to divide up. We have actually two photo shoots here. One was the, the one bag by itself, and one was the one bag with models down here. So let's separate those two shoots. Right now we're going to say this is going to be the one bag solo shoot. I want it to be in a set that I'm going to define later on, so I'm going to say none to this. All right, and I want it to match all the following rules, but we're not going to set those rules yet. So I'm just going to hit Create right now. Now I want to set another Smart Collection, and that's going to be for the model shoot. So I'm going to hit Plus again, Create Smart Collection, and this is going to be the One Bag Model Shoot. It's not going to belong to any set again. We'll organize that later. I want to match all the following rules, and I'm not going to define those rules quite yet. I'm going to hit Create. Now because I haven't created rules for these yet, it automatically shows all images inside both these Smart Collections. Okay, so let's look here. If I want these two images, or these ten images, to be separate from these images, the model shoot, how would I do that? Well, I've got to pick a rule that's going to distinguish the two. And there's a few different ways I can do that. I know right off the bat that these were actually taken on a different date. So I'm going to set the smart collection based on date. So let's do this. This shot was taken on 11 23 2010. So we're going to go to the one bag solo shoot. And this is how you would modify any smart collection, is you'd right click on that smart collection hit Edit Smart Collection, and then what we're going to do is we're going to change it to match the date. And you can see from this list that you can see how much, how many different options you can base these rules on. You can have one rule, you can have two rules, you can have it match some of the rules, or you can have it match all the rules. So we're going to set it to match the capture date, and I'm going to set it to match, so it is equal to, and it's 11-23-2010, so we're going to 2010-11-23. I'm going to hit save. Automatically you can see now the one bag solo shoot only has 10 images and it's just the images from the solo bag shoot. So I'm going to switch back to grid view so you guys can see that. Now going to the one bag model shoot, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to go to the one of the models. Okay, it was taken on 4-6-2011. I'm going to right click, edit smart collection. Okay, I'm going to set the capture date again to this time. It's going to be 2011-04-06. All right, and automatically it updates that, and now we see that there's only 35 images. So now if I click on Originals, I can see all of my images. If I go back to Grid View, I'm going to shrink these so you can see more at once. Now if I click on the One Bag Model Shoot, it just shows the 35 that are the models. If I click on the One Bag Solo Shoot, it just shows the 10 that were taken just of the bag because it's sorting based on dates. Okay, so we can create as many smart collections as we want, and if I were to upload additional photos, if I were to import additional photos from the model shoot that were taken on the same day, this one bag model shoot uh, smart collection is automatically going to be updated with those new photos. So it's a really cool way to basically create collections that dynamically change based on whatever attributes, whatever rules that you set for each smart collection.